Some days, the atmosphere's kitchen is fresh out of the spices needed to whip up a tornadic tempest. Woke up early grabbing my gear Hope to see some twisters near But as I drove for miles and miles The skies just greeted me with smiles I picked the wrong day to chase again Sky busting with all my friends Thought I'd right, buddy. see some big old Now, nothing clouds. to see right yet, okay? Instead, just stuck here with the crowds the Next day I stayed at home But some other days, the Celestial Chef's kitchen is fully stocked with all the ingredients meticulously measured for a feast of supercells and a tornado or two for dessert. Get through uh, Tulsa traffic, we're gonna be in good shape. Just gotta get through Tulsa traffic. So it's about 15 minutes from Target. We got storms going up in our spot, so it's time, I guess. The atmospheric kitchen is a complex place. Some days, the weather chef has a fully stocked pantry, while on others, key ingredients are missing. But what's truly puzzling is how similar recipes can yield such different results. This meteorological mystery continues to challenge our understanding, but storm chasers have learned to recognize certain telltale signs. One crucial element is the cap. Imagine it as a lid on a pot. This layer of warm, dry air high above acts like a barrier, potentially stifling the growth of storms. Just as a tight-fitting lid can prevent a soup from boiling over, a strong cap can keep storms from reaching their full potential. Even when other conditions seem ripe for severe weather, this invisible lid can be the difference between a meteorological feast and a lackluster weather day. Storm chasers keep a watchful eye on this atmospheric lid, knowing it could be the key ingredient that determines whether the day's weather will simmer quietly or boil over into something more dramatic. Let's see what we're up to get, what we're up against here. Looks like there's a bit of clear air up here. A supercell has formed, but it has formed in an area notorious for hills and towering trees in sprawling woodlands. In short, this is a challenging place to try to track a tornado. All right, this thing's got a little wall club. Guess we're ramping up. Time to get going. This storm seems to have the right flavors going into it, as all signs point to it strengthening rapidly. We could be on our way to tornado time in Oklahoma. The ingredients seem to be in balance with this storm. As the team spots a rapidly rotating wall cloud, it's time to move in for a closer look. However, the unfavorable terrain is making finding a view difficult. It's really difficult. I just can't see what's going on over this building. I, gosh, I need a build or something. This is terrible. Is this storm may have produced a brief tornado, but the vantage point was not ideal it's time to attempt to get ahead of this rapidly rotating feature. As the team gains distance, it becomes obvious perhaps the mixture of ingredients by the atmospheric chef today were not quite right after all. This storm appears to be rapidly dying. Uh, that thing is on its way out. Look at that. Planted over, lost it tight. That's ball game over. We're time-lapsing it, though, because that's cool. But I should probably look at this different, though, right? I'm in the one spot there could have been a tornado today in the area I was going to chase. From beneath a snarling tempest primed for tornado production to tranquil blue skies and a withering cell, mere minutes later, the atmospheric kitchen proves itself a capricious realm, as if an invisible chef has abruptly clamped the lid back on nature's roiling pot, our team's chase day simmers down to its inevitable conclusion. Still, the day wasn't a total loss for Rach and Sam. Sam, just had him for french fries, right, Sam? Yeah, come on. Sure, there'll be some doggy parents who are judgy about that. Sam gets french fries from time to time. Not always. <laughs> 